Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to represent a multi-layer neural network. Multi-layer neural networks have multiple layers. There are connections and weights associated with nodes in every layer. That is why at the beginning, a multi-layer neural network may create confusion. But there is nothing to worry about. I'm going to explain the concept in such a way that it will not create any confusion. And after completing this lesson, you will be confident to represent any neural network, no matter how many layers are there. Let's get started. This is a multi-layer neural network. We can see it has one hidden layer. Let's add another hidden layer to this network. Now it has two hidden layers. If I ask you to look at one hidden layer, you will be confused. You will ask, which hidden layer? The answer could be either the first one or the second one. If there were 100 hidden layers, then what? It would be very confusing to identify a particular hidden layer. We can get rid of this confusion simply by marking the layer sequentially. The input layer is always layer 0. The first hidden layer is layer 1. The second hidden layer is layer 2. And the output layer is layer 3. With the layer indicator, now there is no chance of any confusion. Notice carefully, we have two hidden layers and the output layer is the third layer. If we had three hidden layers, then the output layer would be the fourth layer. So if there were n hidden layers, then the output layer would be n plus one layer. If we denote output layer by L, then mathematically L equals n plus one. So if there are 200 hidden layers, that means n equals 200, can you tell me which layer would be the output layer? Very easy. L equals n plus 1. That means 200 plus 1, so 201 layer. So 201 layer is our output layer. As the layers have been identified properly, let's focus on the nodes. In our network, we have two nodes in each layer. If I ask you to select a node from the second layer, you will definitely ask back the question, which node? Let's assign some identification marks in order to avoid these types of confusions. Let's denote hidden nodes with N and output node with O. N1 for first node, N2 for second node. O1 for first output node, O2 for second output node. Now it is easier to identify the nodes. But there are still chances of confusion. Because both of these layers have N1 and N2. If we add layer indicator along with the node indicator, then there will be no scope of any confusion. From now on, we will always express the nodes with subscript and superscript. The superscript represents the layer where the node belongs, and the subscript represents the position of the node on the layer. For example, let's say L equals 2 and P equals 1. It is the first node of the second layer. Let's imagine we have a network with 200 layers and 1600 hidden nodes. No matter how many layers and nodes are there, if I say n superscript 50 subscript 7, you know this node belongs to hidden layer number 50 and it is the seventh node of that layer. So, no matter how large the network is, you will never face difficulty to identify any node from now on. Neural network is all about adjusting the way to get desired signal at the output for a particular input. This is the same multi-layer neural network we have been working with. 
The only difference is the weight notations and the input signals have been mentioned here. Can you find out what are the weights associated with this node? We can see they are W and W. If the question is, which node has W weight? Now it looks really messy because every node has W weight. Let's assign some notation to the weights to mark which weight belongs to which node. These are the weights of first hidden layer. These weights are for second hidden layer. And these are for the third layer, which is the output layer. If we add the layer indicator to weights, then we can easily identify which weight belongs to which layer. That means W superscript 1 is the weight of layer 1. W superscript 2 is the weight of layer 2. W superscript 3 is the weight of layer 3. And in general, W superscript L is the weight of layer L. Now we have the layer indicators. If we look at layer 1 only, there are four weights. And all four of them look the same. So we need something else to mark these weights uniquely. Here, in the first input node, the S1 signal is entering. This node transmits the input signal to first and second hidden nodes of layer 1. Similar thing is happening here on second input node. The S2 signal is entering in the input node and this input node is transmitting the signal to the first and second hidden nodes of layer 1. So the signals are flowing through the weights. Let's take the direction of the flow of the signal as another weight indicator. Here the signal is coming from first input node and it is going to the first hidden node of layer 1. We can take these ones and put it as the subscript of the weight. So the weight is now W111. If you are confused, don't worry. Let's repeat the process for this weight. The signal is coming from first input node and it is going to the second node of the layer 1. So this weight is W121. Here, signal is coming from second input node and going to first node of layer 1. So the weight is W12. Because it is going to node 1 and coming from node 2. Then again, it is coming from second input node and going to the second node of layer 1. So this weight is W1, 2, 2. Because the signal is going to node 2 and coming from node 2. So this is how we denote the weights. The superscript represents the corresponding layer. This I is the node where the signal is going. And J is the node from where the signal is coming. Let's see if you can answer a question. W221 is the weight of which layer and in between which nodes? I have no doubt that you can answer this question. This is the weight of second layer, which is in between N2 and N1. So this is how we represent a multi-layer neural network. Now you are familiar with the architecture of multi-layer neural network. And I believe you can represent any neural network no matter how many nodes and layers are there. The next lesson is about backpropagation algorithm. The learning rule 
of multi-layer neural network. If you like my content, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get a notification next time I upload a video. Thank you.